Hello and thanks for joining me on a Brown at Touch Snapshot video tutorial. My name is Andrew Flatchus. I'm the product manager for Humanware's Blindness Products. And today on this video, I'm going to show you a new feature we recently launched in our October 2017 update, creating graphs. Yes, that's right. For the very first time, you can now create graphs on the Brown at Touch. Now, dealing with graphs has always been a challenge for many blind users, but today I'm super excited to show you how we can create them and show them to our visual peers. Not only can we show our graphs in a visual way, but I will also be sharing with you in a second video tutorial on how we can get a representation of that graph in a tactile view, both on our brow display and on a bosser. So let's start building our graph. Now, creating graphs is achievable in two ways. We can start by using our application called KeyMaths, or we can use Keyword. It just depends on how you want to present your maths work. So if you want to print your work, if you want to share your work via the cloud, then we'll need to do all of our work through Keyword, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. So we start with by creating a document in the word processor. So from main menu, W for word processor, Enter. Okay, the focus is on create, so press enter. Okay, so I'm now in my Word document and I'm going to put a heading called Graphing Equations. Okay, so I've got my heading graph and equations. I'm now ready to insert my maths. So again, like before, backspace and M is the same command we use to insert our maths equations, backspace and M. This will now open up key maths, um, but you'll notice obviously UEB uh, was announced. That's just because I prefer to use UEB. This is also supported in Nemeth as well. Now what we have introduced in key maths are two modes, graphing calculator mode and math type setting mode. And I will explain what these are. So to toggle between these two modes, we will press enter with G. And again, this command is listed in the contextual menu of that square button at the front. So enter with G. So math type sitter mode, this is the mode you want to be in if you want to continue to present your work in a written way. So for your fractions, uh, for your multiplications, anything that you want to show your teachers um, in a written way would need to be in your math type setting mode. If, however, you want to graph any of your work, you need to be in the graphing calculator mode. So again, I'm going to press enter with G. Okay, now I'm in my graphing calculator mode. Let's put an equation that um, I have already resolved. Um, and I want to present this to my teachers on a graph. So the equation I'm going to put in is uh, x plus y. Equals 10. Okay, so I'm pressing enter. This will generate a line from the range minus 10 to 10 on my graph. And as we heard, we get the audio toast message to confirm that. Now I'm going to add a second equation to my graph. This is going to be y minus 2x equals 1. Okay, and again, I'm going to hit enter. Now, adding this second equation will not only add a second line on my graph, it is also in a different color. So let's put in the values now of X and Y, which will create a hotspot of where the intersections should meet. And again, this will be presented in a different color. Okay. 
is 10, and then it's 10, 2, 10, 10. So again, at those that can see my screen, I now have three different colors. I have two lines that represent my X and Ys, and then I have the hotspot of where the both lines meet together. So again, for the first time, I'm now able to create a graph for my teacher in a visual way. And now when you're ready, we can copy this graph over to Keyword exactly the same way as we did before when we used to use regular fractions and square roots. So I can export, export this graph by pressing backspace with E. And again, these commands are in the context menu. Okay, this will now place me in my Word document where I can now paste my graph using the same command, backspace and V. And that graph is now in my document where I can read the brow. If I then want to show it in a preview way, I can press my enter with V command. Okay, it will ask me what action I want to use and I'm gonna use drive PDF viewer because I wanna show my teachers the graph. And there we have it, a graph created in a real time to show our teachers. So now I'm going to save it. And I'm gonna call this graph. And there we have. So now I've saved my file, uh, which I can now choose to print, email or share to the cloud. However you choose to send your completed mass work is entirely up to you. But the main thing is now the teachers can see the visual graph. So I hope you're excited as, um, as much as I am. And I do hope that it helps you in your future maths lesson. Uh, we, we look forward to speaking to you soon.